Today the dental clinic at Sandspit Road School south of in South Auckland will close its doors. Because of a nationwide overhaul of school dentistry that began a few years ago, students will s still see a dental nurse. It just won't be their dental nurse, but that's a change their principal says will hurt the community. Graham Newell joins us now, as does Martin Hefford from County's Manukau District Health Board. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, now, Graham, your kids are still going to see a dental nurse. There's still going to be a dental service, so what is the problem? The problem is that... Uh, our children won't be seeing a, a, their dental nurse. They, they're not going to get the service on site. They won't get the, the level of treatment that they're getting at the moment. So you're saying that, that Marion, your dental nurse, knows the kids, will give them a better service than this new state-of-the-art service that the DHB is trying to roll yeah, out? Yeah, we believe so. We believe that it's, actually it, it's, it's not about the, the, the dental nurse itself. It's about the service being taken away from our school and taken away from our community. I went to a uh, community consultation meeting where we were told, our community was told, that we would not lose our current working dental clinic until there was an, uh, an alternative in place. Currently there's no alternative in place. They've talked about bringing on on-site mobile clinics at some point in the future. At the moment there's only one mobile clinic for the whole of County's Manukau area. So you're saying that if there was an alternative, you'd be fine with it, but it's just the way it's being rolled out. That you're absolutely, not happy with. absolutely. There's no alternative at the moment for our children to receive dental treatment. The 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 uh, mobile units that are supposed to be coming in the future, um, we feel as though that, that it's it's like um, someone saying to us, "We're going to take your toilets away." and we'll bring them back again in six months' time, maybe. OK, so Martin, why can't uh, Sanspit School hold on to their dental clinic until there's an alternative there? Thank you, yes. Look, I think it's important to remember that um, actually the kids will be getting a service and they'll continue to get a service through the holidays. Actually, the Sanspit School clinic normally closes over the holidays anyway um, and there is a new alternative in place already two kilometres down the road where the children will have access to treatments over the holidays. Um, it's really part of an overall uh, overhaul of dentistry in schools, bringing it into the 21st century. We're rolling out uh, state-of-the-art new clinics across the communities and also putting in place mobile dental vans which will come to these schools. Um, so it sounds a bit like some sort of an irritant school and everybody else has gone on board but this school just won't tow the party line. Well, we're planning for the whole 2,000 children in that area, not just the ones um, at Sandspit School. Sandspit School will have a mobile dental van but what do they come do, regularly. Uh, what do they do while they don't have that mobile van? Well, the, the van's available now. It'll, come, it'll be coming as, you know, as soon as there are kids to see. In the meantime, children that need treatment over the holidays will be treated at the View Road Clinic well, which on, is Martin, two have, kilometres away. Have, sorry, Martin, the actual the View Road Clinic actually hasn't been finished yet. There's no, there is no finished unit at View Road School at all. Yeah, the View Road will be it's finished still, in it's January. Still, it's so still the still View being, Road Clinic sorry, is so operational in January. So oh. until now, until that clinic is finished at some point in the future, there's actually nowhere for our children to go and get any dental treatment at all. Yeah. And no likelihood in the future of it coming. We've got this promise of these mobile units that are coming. <coughs> the mobile units have no, to go down just, onto a concrete... Let me just correct that. Hang on, Martin, oh, sorry. You said they've got no advice. So no. We'll really just leave Graham to finish. Right. Sorry, we'll just finish. The mobile units have to go down onto a concrete pad, which has to, has to be specially built in every school. Yes. Now, I know that the concrete pad in my school is going to cost $25,000. Mm -hmm. Now, that seems to be a lot of money to spend on a concrete pad. You spread that across the 60 schools in the county's Manukau area, that seems to be a lot of money being spent on concrete pads that should be, we feel, being directed into building proper clinics, staffing them with dental nurses on site where the children can get access easily to dental health. Now, that's not going to happen under this new model. It's not going to happen because there's a new plan that's being rolled out. Yes, so can you answer that, Martin? That, that, that issue of um, parents and children having access. Really important that people know their children have access. There is a, a clinic on site at the intermediate, local intermediate, which is operational. The this new is, road one, which is two kilometres away. away, will be operational in January. The Sandspit School is always, uh, clinic is always closed over the holidays, so there's really no change there. But the new clinics are state-of-the-art, they have proper infection control. You know, we have to think about will the safety system, of our children. Will this new system disadvantage ch children whose parents work, for example, and they can't simply get their children out and about to another 27 kilometres away or two kilometres away even, whereas the on-site system worked well? So um, the new system, the on-site, will be the preventative treatment, yes. making sure the kids' um, teeth are looked after, fissure sealants and so on, x-rays to check whether it's a problem, 
And then if they do need um, treatment, they will go to a treatment clinic. Okay. And that'll be either the relocatable units, which is the ones he's, uh, Graham's talking about, or else at um, the, the school two kilometres down the road. So, is so it parents will be asked to come and take their kids for treatments, that's true. And we actually think it's important that children are involved in their child's dental parents. treatment. Yep. So there's no stay of execution for the Sanspit Dental Clinic that's being dismembered this morning. And the children will still have access to dental services over the holidays. So the 16 oh, right. children who are due for treatment between now and the end of the year get nothing. They were told today that, that's at the clinic's that's closed. A really good point. I'm going to have to leave it there, Graham uh, Newell and Martin Hefford. We will no doubt get some feedback and look forward to watching the space. Thank you. Thank you.